throw. Whoa, that was too easy. That was too easy. Get another one. Ozzy, come here. Over here. Wait. Good wait. Wait. Here it comes. Good wait. Throw us a ball. Here we go, Charlie. Yeah. Down the slide. Good boy. You got it. Oh. Charlie, got another ball? Go put it in there, Ozzy. Go put it in. Go put it in. Whoops. <laughs> Good boy. Bring it here. Give. Good. Ready? Ozzy, back. Back. No, back. Good, good, good. Wait. Good, wait. Here it comes. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, you got it. Is everybody having fun? Oh, Charlie'd like it back. Give. Good. Ozzy, no, no. Gotta wait out here. Good boy. Binary feedback's important. Wait. Wait for Charlie to throw it to you. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. Here it comes. Hold on. We gotta wait for Charlie. Okay. Okay. He's ready. Okay. Set. Throw. Yeah. So it's really important to find safe ways to interact. This is a great game because baby's in his space. Here comes another one. Ready, Yaz? Go get it, Charlie. Good. So we're playing fetch with a barrier. We do the same game with a baby gate in the mudroom and out here with the slide. Ozzy, come back. It helps if your dogs know a few things. Come back. Good boy. Wait is our boundary exercise. Yes. Is our reward marker. Good job. And our old dog can do what old dogs do. And our young dog can play fetch with the baby without our hands being involved. So this is a nice way to create a barrier. So using a baby gate or the slide. Get it, Ozzy. Ozzy, get your ball. Ozzy, get your ball. Where's your toy? Is a nice way to put some distance. Um, hands and fingers and dog teeth don't make great combinations. So uh, think about the toys you give your dogs. Before Charlie arrived, we took all stuffies away from Ozzy. And knowing Charlie would have a lot of stuffed animals, we gave Ozzy only hard molded toys. Yeah, dogs in the slide. Ozzy, pause up. Can you go through? Ozzy, go through. Ozzy, go through. Good boy, pause up. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> and we don't want it to be when the baby's out, the dog's around. But the more you can talk to your dog, go around. Go around. Yeah, good boy. Then they can interact in safe ways. Good. Ozzy, lie down. All the way down. No, all the way down. Good boy, wait. Let's let Charlie load up the balls. Good wait. Good boy. Lots of positive reinforcement around the baby. We don't want it to be about what you're doing wrong. Good wait. You'll hear me say no, and yes is our reward mark. Good is you're on the right track. Good boy, wait. Here it comes. Ready, set. As soon as Charlie's ready. Go, okay, good boy. Here comes another one. So think of fun ways for kids and babies to be around dogs safely. Um, management, management, management. If you don't have the time to train skills, yes, being a good manager makes up for that. So baby gates, teaching your dog where to be, when to be, and how to let go of things is really important, huh? Ozzy, drop. Good drop, yes. Good boy. <laughs> the more training you can do before a baby arrives, the easier it is when they're here. But if they're already here, that's okay. You can teach them good skills that you can count on for the life of your dog and your baby. So they'll be best buddies. Right, Charlie? Yeah. With my guys.